Hey YouTubers, it's Chris at Slidewell Racing again, and today's project is changing out the old controller on my new Cobalt. Um, new to me, Cobalt. The um, I did a video a couple of years ago um, with the Mercruiser uh, Commander controller, and uh, that one was pretty popular, so we'll work on this one today. Um, basically, this is the old, I believe the model is the Seastar SL3. And, uh, and I'm going to be replacing it with the um, CH1700. Um, but the first step is to get the old one out. Um, and uh, I will just give my, uh, my one quick pitch that if, uh, if you do appreciate or enjoy my videos or not, um, please go ahead and click subscribe and help me out. Um, and that's all I'll say about that. So uh, as I consider myself a pretty savvy you a uh, web person but try as I might and uh, I couldn't find a good set of instructions on how this old Seastar SL3 comes out so we're gonna wing this as we go along so uh, let's see if we can't take some of these trim pieces off here This one, for whatever reason, this is pretty loose. I don't even know if this is going to help me, but let's see if this allows me to take this out. Interestingly, I guess you don't need to, but the uh, lock nuts on mine are not even tightened up against the, uh, against the, the nut. On mine, the adjuster for this cable, whichever one that is, was on the number four. I don't know if that's going to play a part, but it's probably important to make, it's probably useful to make note of where it came out when you go to put it in your new one. Or if you're putting it back in the same one. Tent switch maybe, and this one here is the trim. Somewhere in here, hopefully there's a connector for the trim. All right. All right. So I might need to transfer this connector over to the new one. Same with this uh, with this connector, and I'll leave all these where they were. And this guy is out, and now we can go put in our new one. So I'm changing out the shift cables along with this controller, and 
on, the, on my boat, the shift cable, and this may be true for many others, not all, but the shift cable is the same on both ends. It has uh, 1032 thread on both ends. And so what I'm going to do is I, I made this little coupler, which is just a 1032 threaded coupler. And uh, I'm going to use this to link the old cable with the new cable. I'm going to take off the, uh, the little end, these little rubber pieces, these seals, so that they don't catch on the way through. And, uh, and I'm going to use the old one to pull the new one through because there's some holders, uh, little, little uh, wire ties along the way that I want to route this through. And uh, we're going to see how that works out. So uh, first, take off the, the nut on the new one and the little rubber seals. And I'm going to thread on this coupler that I just made. And on mine, it's a 1032 thread. Um, probably get get what uh, what the red yours might be if this is a this idea works for you too so to use a coupler I'm just threading it really far on one shaft and then backing it off of that onto the other one all right so now that they're attached I'm going to see if I can pull it through see how this works out Well, that worked. That worked really well. It pulled it through, no trouble. And uh, and now I have both. Uh, or I have my new cable and the old uh, throttle cable all ready to go. So next up, install the new controller. With the controller out uh, now on the bench, I can move the. Uh, the connectors from the old controller onto the new controller and I can also then go ahead and, and try to set up all of the cable connections on the new controller to the, match the, uh, the, the where they were on the old controller. So the first, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the, uh, the safety cutoff switch out um, and or I guess this is considered the throttle cutoff switch. Um, and to match so that I keep the connector and the boat the same, I'm actually going to take uh, this harness back to the switch and I'm going to just swap it in um, right onto this one and I'll move, I'll, I'll put this harness back on the old one. Um, and then for the trim wires, uh, you can see C Star matched the colors of the wires from old to new. And, uh, and I double checked and they match in function. So when red and uh, when you press trim up, the red and the blue are shorted out. When you press trim down, the red and the green are shorted out and that's matched here. So I'm gonna cut off um, this connector and I'm gonna splice these wires over onto, uh, onto the, the wires of the new harness. The wires have now been switched over. I soldered the connector to the new controller and I moved the pigtail as I said. And so next up is to um, to add the new uh, fittings to accept the cables onto the new controller. And, uh, and actually I want to point something out. Um, this is actually a pretty good improvement. Um, this is the new the new version and uh, and the difference is you can see they now have two um, threaded holes, uh, these little brass fittings, um, for the retention covers. So these retention covers snap into place somehow like this, -ish, somewhere around there. Um, and uh, now they have these little screws and holes to hold that in place. And I would um, highly recommend using those. Uh, I had a situation on our current boat where one of these fell out, and I didn't realize it. And uh, and then the the cable fell out of the out of the housing, 
and the boat got stuck in reverse um, and it made it made her for a little bit of a panic um, in Wolfboro uh, that afternoon so uh, a little wire tie got me back underway thankfully um, but uh, it would have been nice for that not to happen so um, if you're upgrading um, don't move your old ones onto your new onto your new uh, controller instead um, use the new pieces that have these retaining screws so I'm going to add one here um, to copy the old one and then uh, you can see there's one on the back side there the way these go on um, it's spelled out in the instructions for the cable that I have but the way these go on is you have a flathead it goes through this this little bushing um, to allow it to swivel and uh, and then there's a um, a lock nut on the other side that goes into the housing. So I'm going to get those installed and then uh, it will be time to move this assembly into the boat. So we're back in the boat and we're getting ready to install the controller into the boat and uh, there is another adjustment that I have to make. As you can see um, the cutout uh, that is described as being necessary um, it basically takes up this whole circle. Um, so I'm going to have to drill the holes, the new four mounting holes, but I'm also going to have to open that up a little bit and make sure that, uh, that everything can fit through and turn correctly. So I'm going to take care of that now and then we'll hook up our cables and finish the installation. So it's, it's several days later and uh, I've done a bunch of other work around the boat while I had this panel out. Um, now we're finally getting back to getting the controller in and finishing that up. So um, just as I took the old one out, we're going to um, reassemble the, the cables onto the new controller. We've got to leave the handles separate so that I can fish them um, both, up, both up and through the hole. And, uh, or at least the, the handle part through the hole, and then we should bolt it all back together. The last time we left this, I had uh, taken this piece out so that I could um, open up the hole in this just a little bit further and drill the mounting holes needed for the new controller. The, um, the new bezel now just covers up all those, um, all those blemishes now. And, uh, and it should be good to go. So we're going to uh, finish the reassembly. And when you do that, make sure that uh, in your control cables that you know which one is the throttle and which one is the, um, the uh, shifter. In my case, this is my throttle and this is my shifter. And make sure you remember to hook them up exactly as they came out of the boat. Um, and so we're gonna do that and match the way that we took them out. Uh, so we'll we'll get this set up and connected. Uh, one one last thing on these: the instruction manual says that there should be an eighth of an inch of thread sticking out. So that's about I've tried to set these to about that. I'll double check the measurements, but we'll set it to about an eighth of an inch of thread. And then I'm gonna set the uh, jam nut a little bit to hold it in place, and uh, then we're gonna reassemble it back onto our controller. So I've reconnected the cables. Uh, I've also, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I've attached the um, the clips with now these screws that weren't in the old the old model, um, and I think that's really important because uh, this clip falls out and this cable falls out, you're kind of stuck without a lot, any control of your boat. And uh, obviously, reinstall your cotter pins. This one here is your throttle cable, so make sure that's hooked up to throttle. And the uh, the arms out here, these are your shifter cables and I've reinstalled them into the same spots that they were installed before. So now I'm gonna connect my electrical connections. This is the uh, cutoff switch, and then this is the uh, trim connector. I'm gonna plug those back in, tuck those wires back up, and, uh, and then we'll reinsert this thing up and uh, finish installing it. So now that the backing plate is all fastened up against the bezel and uh, clamping the, the panel, basically, between it, now we'll feed our, uh, our new handle back on. And you basically just, uh, let's see if I can do this here. Basically just tuck this uh, wire up in there. 
and uh, and these these little tabs fit into whichever groove you need to line it up the way that fits your particular boat and in my case um, I want these pretty much straight up and down I just had this in there a second ago all right so just like that and uh, and now I'm all set so now the next step is I'm going to uh, you've got to screw in this this bolt okay with the hole in the middle that goes in there and locks our handle in place so we got to tighten that down and then through that is where we put our neutral um, idle uh, tab and then over that tab that goes through the hole in the bolt and then on top of that we're going to put our, our little rubber cover which is what you push on to, um, to uh, put the boat in neutral while you uh, adjust the throttle and then since I am not going to be using the kill switch um, or I don't have the external uh, trailer adjustment I'm just putting the panels on now just like this and um, I'm actually going to look for another I'm gonna try to get a second set of these that has no hole in it because when they send them to you um, one has the hole for the kill switch which I uh, I'm not going to be using so I'll button that up for now I'll, I'll put something over that but uh, basically that's the plan as of right now we'll button this up and uh, and just about finished and there she is all finished um, so at this point now you'd want to go through the motions and uh, make sure that uh, all of your adjustments are set correctly and that uh, you're getting full throttle um, that everything's returning correctly that your shifting adjustment um, is done as well because now especially in my case where I've changed the cable you have to go back and double check those um, shifter adjustments on the outdrive but otherwise uh, this project is is all done